sickle country. Our country was sickle. No one had ever experienced a year like this before. It was unknown to even those in the most recessed corners of the world. The Black Mask, the plague. Many mocked it before it came, and layered under that, everything was cloaked with the thick ooze of systemic racism. It slowly creeped into every crevice, got into the fibers of the clothing so they were marred forever. It clouded out people's eyes, and when it crawled into their ears, muted everything. Sickle country. Below even the careening chasm of an echo chamber existed a dullness, a quiet throb, the dirtied vibe of a calcified pineal gland. It was the ability to drown anything out, to embrace the numbness through self-ignorance, to scroll through our phones to feast on likes and Netflix, devouring anything and everything into our cores without cognizance of who we are or why we are here. It was more troublesome than the ooze of racism and ethnocentricity, because this malaise was even more difficult to recognize. Stop drinking, meditate, do yoga, realize. The steps were written down centuries ago, yet the books and knowledge were, without recognition, set aside, following a yearning of a life spent richer. More, 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 more. It seems we're just fine devouring ourselves. Sickle country. Everyone turned to one another, asking, what is the solution? Then everyone turned away. It was difficult to wipe away the tear stains and to get through the black mire of death that had pervaded. But it wasn't all dark, because below everything, at the deepest level of any life lived, lied amnes. It just was. It was a serene lake of stillness and didn't have a name. This was the teacher, and it allowed for life to vibrate from within. It wasn't complacent, nor visibly compassionate. It was pure acceptance, absorption, and release, complete madness, and stern order. It was equanimity, an opportunity for awakening, grace, the warmth of an ever-present beauty. As the winds kept blowing and people yelled over one another, the teacher was always present. In the darkest hour you shall know me. In the darkest hours, we find our greatest teachers. Sickle country. All I can hope and pray for is that we can redeem ourselves through this election and bring back some semblance of a democracy or salvation. Otherwise, the silencing will continue. The bloodshed will continue. And I'm scared for the future.